on today's video, another close-in video, but with like a difference. Mm. Using a well, we've got 12 cane strikes, but what if you're close in? And we've also got an answer to a query we've had on one of our videos. Ooh. Are we? I'll take your word for it. Right, before we start this video off, um, we had a comment on one of our really earliest videos about the 12 cane strikes, and someone mentioned that uh, basically we copied from another system. Um, which is the first thing we said was, these are the 12 basic cane strikes from the cane master system. I will teach somebody. So it was Sally, wasn't it? Yeah, my wife. Um, so, S yes. So it wasn't as if we copied, but we do show a lot of cane master system because we're part of cane masters. And we promote the system and we were showing you how to teach the strikes, which and led on to this video. The object of the channel was basically, um, this prepares you to then go on to cane, um, Game Masters International? No, it's called virtualdojo.com. Virtual Dojo? Then you sign up, become a K Master yourself, go through the syllabus, some of the stuff you would have seen before because we do it on this channel. You go through the ranking and you become a K Master yourself. If you want to. Yeah. So, so, yes, we do, but we always say a lot of our videos are adapting the K Masters techniques. If you think about the human body and what you hold in your hand, to come up with something original, in this day and age, is like finding the 13th chord. This 12th minor G12? De demolished. I'll demolish you. You've got a, basically, you, you've got a pencil case with all your colours in it and there's no more colours. And you have to try and bring something new to the table. So we adapt, and that's the whole purpose of this channel, guys. It's an adaption. So, Mr. Funky K Master type person each. Bum, 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 bum. So when we do the cane strikes, this would be This would be a disaster for the mic stand. Okay. Sorry if it is. <laughs> when we do the cane strikes, I'll do some nice one. This is a good optimal distance. Yes, yeah, and nice. I like this distance because cane bigger than arm, even from the only problem with that distance, if Chris brings his arm back out, if they're mobile and if they know what they do, they can step in and negate the force. However, if this is me, I'll stop giving you some of that. Yeah, I know, but just to say, slap. it is an optimal part. I like to be a little bit further back so that I'm striking with the last eighth of my cane. We need a video on that. But as with all things, the basics are the most important. Yeah. Like you say, all the previous techniques we say, before you do this complicated or a little bit flashy. Adapted. Do your basic strikes first. So let's review the basic 12 strikes. I'm going to just stand side on. Oh, it's all about you, isn't it? Okay, one and two on the case strikes. Ankle, knee. But they, that area. Yeah. Three and four. So this area. So looking optimally at your proverbials. I'll take the catch arms on that area. I think I, I prefer limb strikes rather than torsos and... Five and six. We're coming into the danger area, which is the head. Yeah. Seven and eight, a diagonal on one end. Nine, ten, diagonal the other. Eleven is Chris's favourite and always gets wrong. It's the groin shot. Yeah, I'm right. You are right, the groin shot. Yeah. <laughs> Show the groin shot. Coming up, and number twelve comes down without hitting the mic stand. <laughs> So they're the 12, and you, you do have a lot of different distance. The cane sort of comes up past your shoulder, comes through. There's a lot of swinging involved. Yeah, you've probably seen sword strikes. Yeah. Single stick work, knife work, they use the same angle. So this is nothing new, and if you ever listen to Grand Mar Grandmaster Mark Shuey's interviews, he says this is nothing new. I, he just adapted it. So, but if you're close, now, hello. Hello. <laughs> now, these are workers' taps. If I just start doing big motions, then I'm going to either evade or get in closer or try and tackle the cane. Yada, yada, yada. I'm going to grab your cane. No, I ain't going to grab the cane. Not today. Well, you might. Not but today. My, my thought was okay, so I've got my grip. So this is the basic grip. That would work. But if yeah. they're close, and I. 
So what about, here I was thinking, Go on. do the strike, but lead with the crook. Now we've done, there is crook side strikes, strikes, we've done hammers with this. Yeah. But if we want to do cane strikes, works ideally from here or here. So I'm going to do the strike, but I'm going to lead with the crook, then the shaft and drag through. I may have to step back. Yeah. That may be enough, especially if I give him a good, Shall I hit him to see what happens? No. Okay. Chris came up with um, an idea. It must be two years ago now. Yeah. Of assisted strikes. So again, in this situation, using his body, he's going to assist. So the one I liked, which I cannot do, was the leg assist. Yeah. So you've got the, we're kicking it. And or we are using our leg to flick the cane round, depending where your cane is. So you've got that one, you cross over. So we're here. And you pull back. So what we're looking at is adding, so if I'm here, if I'm chatting to people, I'm either here, I'm here, or I'm here. Now if he's a gr this doesn't look threatening. Does this do I, know, I know better. You do should by now. I can do this strike, but yeah. it's just gonna be a number four strike, but I'm going to strike here, here, this gives me the arm. I like that. Yeah. Because I, I don't take an arm out. It's bad. Takes the fight over. Then the tip. If I'm mobile, unlike some people I know, as I'm doing Rub that, it, it gives me the option to create distance. And then we can use our other bits like we don't bayonet need... strikes, taps, yeah. stuff like that. But so, one of the one of the great things about this system, using using that sort of momentum, is that. If Chris is turning his body and I'm actually attacking, he's presenting less of a target while attacking with the cane at the same time. You're going on about how short I am again, aren't you? Less of a target. Scotchy. In the comments if you know what scotchy means. Scotchy. I like distance strikes because that keeps me a safe distance from various... Yes, yeah, this is my distance stick. Stay away from me. Exactly. Um, again, shopping, poke, poke. <laughs> but it's going to be here, we said this, they're going to be angry and in your face. Yeah. So let's look at the 12 as we go. So one and two, That's gonna, these, are, these are great because I've got no idea they're coming. I'm concentrating, I'm making eye contact with the Chris because that's what I do as an aggressor. You get tunnel vision as well. Now, this, brilliant, I can tap that, it's close in, but this is where using your body and using your leg to flick in. If I decide to do a nice, go for a rib shot. So we're going to three or four now. So if I come in, if I'm here, this goes in this way. That's nasty, yeah. And I can then use, I'm using my arm and my body. So this is more akin to a push strike. Yeah. And from here, we, uh, one of my favorite techniques, that one. So five and six, we're actually coming up, shoulder above to the head. Yeah. Again, we tend to say, if you can stay away from this area, it's for your protection rather than anything else. Yeah, but if I if he is there, I can bring this up. I'm doing my number six strike. Now, I would not power that into there. I would place it and use it as a push and a drag. I'm not going to give him a massive... That's the cane dry slap. It is the cane dry slap. Changing the crook with the horn, and you come up, you've now got... Ow. You've got, you should have a big neck. You've got a drag. Yep. Yeah. Through. You've also got the potential coming in to the scapula, using the cane's force and your body, and you can throw from this position as well. So it's quite a nice little, yeah. so just changing the position of the horn. So looking at everything you do, bayonet strikes. Mm. Close in bayonet strike. It will still work, but it gives you a distance strike. That could be a video. So now we've got the diagonals, which I kind of like, but I find extremely hard because of balance issues. Yeah. So if, if I'm, so I'm holding it this way, I know I've got this nice cross line coming through. Yeah. And I know I can bring it back, or if I so desire, I can flip it. Now notice I'm keeping this close in. I'm using my other arm to enforce the strike. With Chris keeping his arms close in like that, 
Go on, grab him. If I go for anything, what's that? He's got a full. Def- he's got full defence. He's got full guard without ever actually looking like he's got a guard. Just not bad. And also, if the CCTV's around, he's yeah. not being aggressive at all. Now I if am. He, now, if he keeps doing that, I'm just going to go to Sticky Kane and come round for the other strike because nice. his, his momentum is pushing force. Out, As you know, momentum cannot be changed; only conserved and redirected, which is what I've done. Now, as for the number 11 strike, there is absolutely no applications that will work on number 11 close in. None whatsoever. Not on you, they won't. <laughs> but we've, done, we've done this to death. Now, if, if I'm standing in this position, oh. I, do I even need to go there? Well, yes, for the sake of the fan base. Lift. <laughs> you've got to lift and separate. But dry, even just driving down, I've still got these techniques. If I'm standing this way... <laughs> well, you see what I've done there? <laughs> no. Full so protection. Depending on your grip, but the strikes are still there. I'm going to keep away from this nice. Yeah. But again, if you're, if you're guarded up, you're, will you? No. no. But if I am here and I need to do that strike, I can just bring my he- hand down. I've got the strike, strike. If you've ever been bursting for the toilet, guys, and I believe gals as well, What's any pressure on what we call the super pubis. Super pubis is above the uh, below navel and above genitalia. There's an area there where your bladder sits, and you know full well, even with a cane, without full bladder, pushing in that area is uncomfortable. So, even and we've seen this principle before, is just the lean forward. Didn't like that, did you? That's I'm not going back. <laughs> So, although technically not an upstrike, it's still striking that area, so I will class that. Yeah. Now, we're not going to hit the head, are we? No. But, when it comes to number 12, but, he says, I'm in this, please don't hurt me, I'm just going to come into the collarbone, either the back for the scapula, or the front for the collarbone, and just drag all the way down and bring my cane to the floor. I'm guarded. I'm ready. (laughs) Ready for number 11? Yeah. (laughs) So look at the basics. I, I tell people this all the time. The basics are the most advanced techniques you've got. Yeah. Um, There's yeah. a reason why you learn them first. And then you see the different applications. The two-handed blocks and the one-handed blocks, they're fantastic strikes. Yeah. They're takeoffs, they're push, they're throws. Well, you think the fan from here is the start of one of the diagonal strikes? Because you're bringing your cane into that position. The fact that I've smashed your elbow while I've done it, isn't either here or there. It's still that momentum coming through. What if I'm here, right? Mm-hmm. If you're there, and I'm here. And I do here, mm-hmm. and I machine gun your chest. Yes. What if I just step behind you and then do it? And then I can hook you in here and do a nice twirl, because we're always twirling, twirling, twirling. But this is what happens with our sessions we get lost because we see so many things and this is what we'd like you guys to start doing is to see the technique rather be critical of the technique find your adaption find your way of doing things find something you'll do differently we'd love to see your videos so rather than just type in that won't work we have seen them Um, video i did have a nice i wouldn't say argument with somebody and it was that will never work and the actual issue was he couldn't get it to work. So after we had a little bit of to and back and forth. To and throwing. To and throwing. It wasn't abusive or anything like that. Then once the, he understood the principle, he changed it to suit his dynamic. And that's the important thing. It may not work for you. There's techniques I can't do yet. Yeah, Chris will come up with a technique and go, what do you think of this? And I'll go, it will not work for me. But. I can adapt that. I can change, keep the principle, change the technique. Yeah, because those techniques, even for, if you're sitting down, oh, I'm so weary, you've still got the same techniques, but sitting from here, I'll get closer, you don't move. Oh, I'm not going to move. So my number one strike from here, so if I'm not in the cane like this, I'm just going to be doing my strikes, but at a different angle. So change your height. That's an idea. That was close. Ugh. Welcome to my world. <laughs> See, my number one strike now, way off. But you got the same principle. 
change your heights. It does make for an interesting dynamic when you do this kind of thing. I like the way he loses his head and he's still destroying all the stuff on set. But we'll let him off because he's he short. He can't be bothered. Right guys, that's it for another video. If you made this far, thanks. You the diamonds. Don't forget to drop us a line down below. Helps the algorithm, algorithm, rhythm, rhythm, and yeah. keeps us growing. That's the problem with you mods. You have no rhythm. Yeah. As, a go, as we said before, guys, it is an idea. It's a principle. See if you can make it work. While you're doing that, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Free the ferret. Do you know what? I'm going to my trailer. Ah, <sighs> prima donnas. Gotta love them. Pretty fair. Ow. Okay, if you want to see more, the original Kane, uh, 12 Kane Strike video, the one we got the comment on is directly below me. And below him is Kevin and the assisted strikes, just to give you a little bit more tool in the box. You like that, don't you? You're looking at me funny.